Yo, what is up, y'all? Willie Beeman here, bringing another NBA 2K16 video. Um, this one's gonna be um, the start of a big man pro am badges um, kind of uh, series that I'm gonna be go going over. Um, I'm gonna have some tutorials on how to get some big man badges, but on this first video, I wanted to show you guys um, what badges I have um, and what badges I think are important for you to get with your center. Um, so as you can see here, these are my four of my players. I got two centers, the, a 97, a 99, and then a power forward that's a 99. Um, so obviously, you know, I put in a bunch of time on 2K. I can tell you what badges work, what badges don't. Um, if you want to know um, guard badges, um, there's going to be annotation on the screen right now. Um, definitely click on that because that'll have basically everything you need to know about playing uh, with your point guard in my career and getting all the badges with them um, but so I'm gonna load up this guy and we're gonna get this thing started all right now that we got them loaded up uh, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things um, I want to point out real quick on getting badges um, on gameplay settings down here in your options um, you want to go in here um, for getting badges you want to put it on rookie um, for the offensive crasher badge which I've been trying to get lately um, it's actually better if you throw it up here on Superstar or Hall of Fame um, because your team will miss more shots and you have a better chance to get an offensive rebounds. But for almost for pretty much every other badge, you want to put it on Rookie. Um, and this is very important. I, I play on 12-minute quarters just to make more out of my games. That's kind of up to you. Um, but the game speed is a really important part. Um, it's going to feel really weird whenever you first do this, but put your game speed up to 100. Um, this is going to basically make everything happen uh, twice as fast. Um, so you're going to run twice as fast, you know, the passes, shot, your shot meter is going to be twice as fast, um, everything. Um, basically all this does is it makes it where you can just blow through possessions like over and over again as fast as possible. <clears throat> and uh, using this, um, you can see by my stats over there on the right, you know, I'm averaging 34 points a game, 20 over 20 rebounds a game, almost 10 assists, um, over five blocks a game, um, and then almost you know one and a half steals a game. Uh, so you can see that you know playing with this one game speed on 100, you know I'm able to do a lot of things uh, during games. Um, I think right now I've played, let's see, I've played 18 games. Uh, the two games I lost, I was playing on Hall of Fame. Um, but now I'm going to get into the attributes. Um, people have asked me, how, how do you upgrade your guy? Um, so whenever you're in your my court, you know, go into the options, go to player upgrades, attribute upgrades are what you're going to look at. Um, and then these bars here, if you don't have, you know, all your bars up, you can just push your bars up and buy purchase the upgrades. Um, as you can see here, this is my, uh, this is my second center. This is, I call this guy my pro-am center. Um, the other guy I use in the part. Um, and the main difference between the two is playmaker and jump shooter. Um, so my pro-am center, I got my playmaker maxed out, and my park uh, center, I got jump shooter almost all the way maxed out. Um, so that's the difference, and that's what I would recommend if you're going to play center, um, and you're wondering about your build. Um, if you're going to play a lot of pro-am, which I've kind of turned into playing more pro-am than park, um, you want a guy that has a, at least 14 bars of playmaker because that allows you to get the break starter badge. Um, whereas if you're in the park and uh, the break starter badge really isn't that important um, but scoring is is quite a bit more important so the jump jump shooting is a little bit better and obviously I'm an inside center um, if you guys have watched my other videos um, so that's kind of uh, the, the way I build it if you're gonna be an outside center in the park or in the park or pro-am really um, I'd recommend putting this inside score all the way down and then your jump shooter all the way up um, and then also, you know, for another build for outside center, you can put this all the way down and put your jump shooter all the way up. Um, so that, that's just kind of a little bit on builds. Um, and to kind of give you a little bit of an idea on badges, um, badges are more of a secondary thing in 2K16. Um, really what you want to concentrate on initially is getting your overall up as high as possible. Um, you know, I know a lot of you guys, uh, whenever you first start out, you don't have VC to buy these upgrades. You really got to grind in your my career. Um, you know, play those games, you know, get your VC. Um, that's that's really the best way to get VC whenever you first start out, especially if your guy's overall isn't very high. Because if you go to the park, 
um, you're gonna get you're gonna get dominated by you know people like me that have put in time um, obviously I'm, I'm 29 years old I got a job so whenever I bought the game I bought VC to make my first my player um, my four my players I have right now though uh, the other three guys I've I've made with VC that I've earned um, I've played you know probably I think like 1600 games in the park and then probably 500 pro M games um, so you know you get about a thousand VC a pro M game so that's 500,000 VC or so I've earned um, right there and that's not even including you know my career games or anything like that um, so you know whenever you first start out if you don't have VC it might be tough to get these upgrades and it might be tough to get badges um, but really you just you want to grind through it um, I'm not really a, an expert on you know what's the quickest way to get VC just because I've never really had to try to get VC um, I pretty much played with my main guy the first guy I made um, until I had enough VC to make another person and then so so on and so forth until I basically have four guys and now I got 150,000 VC um, left over from playing so much pro-am um, so now getting to badges um, you know after you get your guy good that's whenever you really want to concentrate on badges um, so if you if you want to know how to get your guy really you know really high overall as fast as possible um, I have a YouTube video on my channel go check it out um, it's it the the method that I have has been slightly patched um, I think right now you can't foul out as quick as I do um, you have to play I think four or five minutes in a game uh, before you foul out so you got to spend a little bit of time you know you can work on like brick wall or you know like a minor badge or something like that while you're fouling out um, so I kind of recommend doing that or maybe getting like one of your post move badges or something like that um, But anyway, let's get to badges Okay, whenever I throw up these badges um, I'm also gonna throw up what the requirements are according to uh, you know a website and I, I pretty much checked all these and they're pretty legit um, So, you know starting out we're gonna go um, go through all the post badges um, you know the dream like up and under um, the drop stepper, the fade ace, um, the hops, the hop step uh, shot, the the uh, hook. You know, all the all the post moves have badges that that go along with them. Um, and really, this depends on your game. Um, if you really use up and unders a lot, you want to get this badge. If you don't ever use an up and under in the park or the pro am or anything like that, it it doesn't matter. You know, you want to keep that in mind with these badges. Um, with you know my guy I use a lot of post moves so I'm gonna have a lot of these a lot of these badges um, I got a pretty versatile game now um, after playing for a while um, so hustle points very important badge to get um, this one is gonna be a uh, pretty simple um, I got the requirements on the screen um, as you can see there you get an offensive rebound and you got to put it up quickly um, and then after you get the hustle points badge whenever you get an offensive rebound you really don't want to put the ball back up um, unless you're trying to get maybe posterizer uh, But I really wouldn't recommend putting the ball back up to try to get posterizer. There's there's uh, other ways to get that uh, So whenever you get an offensive rebound after you get this badge, you know kick it back out try to get an assist get that dimer badge um, So post spin technicians, this is uh, this is probably my key move that I use um, I've used all of the post moves. I've pretty much used all of them a lot um, and I can tell you that the post spin is by far um, your your best move. Um, so if you're if you're trying to play post um, either in park, uh, mostly park, uh, pro am, you know your post is going to be a little bit limited because you get double teamed uh, pretty much constantly whenever you get in the post. Um, but the post spin is legit. Um, if you have a point guard or a shooting guard that's trying to guard you, you know post spin the crap out of them because they're never going to be able to stop you with it. Um, and people act like um, you know you can stop this move, but I promise you you can't. Um, if you learn how to use it uh, correctly and use it well, um, this is a, a really good badge to get and a really good move to, to use. Um, another thing I'm gonna I'm gonna say is the post step back pro and the fade ace. Uh, basically using the post fade um, that has been patched um, either in three or four uh, patch three or four. Uh, they patch the the fadeaway shots to where it's really hard to make those um, They're really not uh, not that easy to make so I really wouldn't recommend using them very often to, unless you get your shot uh, Really really on point Okay, up next is relentless finisher um, This one's a really good badge to have 
um, either in park or pro-am, especially pro-am. If you're gonna run pro-am, you gotta get this badge um, because you're really not gonna ever have a layup that's not contacted um, in the pro-am. I mean, you'll you'll have layups that aren't, but 90 90% 90 of your layups are gonna be pretty pretty contested, um, and this will help you finish on those. Um, so the requirements are on the screen now, um, so you check that out. Um, screen outlet. This is more important for an outside center. Um, it, you're gonna get it because I think brick wall is a really important badge, uh, just because you'll get it before brick wall. Uh, but screen outlet, if, if you run the pick and pop game, um, this is definitely a good one to have. It'll increase your shot percentage um, off of the pick. Uh, so I would definitely uh, recommend getting that. Um, Fade Ace, um, this goes to uh, what I was saying earlier about the patch. Um, this thing's been patched, so um, you know, use it. If you, if you can make shots with the fade, um, it's a really good way to, uh, to score, but it really is a lot tougher now. Okay, microwave and unfazed. Um, so I'm going to put both of these um, on the screen now. Um, microwave is going to be... Um, microwave and Unphase are going to be something that you get kind of passively um, as you're getting badges. So don't really concentrate on getting hot. Um, it'll come as you're doing these moves, especially if you play on Rookie like I recommended. Um, you're not going to be able to get stopped. Um, if you get your overall high enough, um, you're just going to be able to kill people. Um, learning moves and stuff like that and don't worry if you don't have them um, because you'll, you'll gain them um, over some games um, but they do help a lot microwave will let you get hot really quick um, and if you don't know about hot um, that's the red rings um, that you'll get um, you'll see them occasionally um, a single red ring is is basically you're warming up and then double red rings is your hot um, so the double red rings are what you're gonna shoot for um, and the way it works is if you get a single ring, um, it, I think it boosts um, your attributes around five. Um, so like, let's say you got a, a 80 mid-range shot, um, it'll boost your mid-range shot to an 85. Um, and then if you get double rings, it'll boost at 10. So your mid-range shot will go from an 80 to a 90. Um, so that's the way that the uh, hot, um, the microwave and unphase can help you out. Unphase is, is really more important for a pro-am person. Um, just because people will call timeouts whenever you know you're you're running on them, and, you know if you get like a 15-0 run or something like that, um, this unfazed badge really comes in handy because uh, if the other team's smart, they'll call a timeout, try to cool you off. Um, but if everybody has unfazed, uh, they'll roll through the timeout with all all their rings. You know sometimes you might lose one ring if you got double rings, but you'll stay hot. Uh, so I have all the dribble moves with my center. Um, they really don't matter. Um, they're just so easy to get that I get them with all my players. Um, so right here, uh, break starter, uh, probably the most important badge um, on the game whenever it comes to a center or power forward. Um, but that's with um, a little caveat to that. Um, if you're not going to run Pro-Am, then it's not. Uh, but if you're gonna run pro-am uh, this is by far the most OP badge in the game um, Which I wasn't I wasn't quite aware of until I started playing a lot of pro-am and seeing teams um, use this badge um, But basically it allows you to get a rebound and throw the ball completely down court with almost no penalty um, So I've played probably I don't know a hundred games since I got this thing and I have maybe thrown the ball away ten times um, so it, it, I've thrown the ball down court at least a hundred times. Um, so that just kind of shows you how, how easy it is to throw the ball down court at, after you get this badge. Um, so, you know, whenever you play teams that are good in the pro-am, I promise you both their bigs have this break starter and they're going to just run the fast break on you. Um, cause that's, that's basically the, the key to getting a high score and trying to run the score up for road to the finals. Uh, so there goes another dribble badge, dribble badge, dribble badge, dribble badge, dribble badge, dribble badge. Uh, so defensive crasher. Um, this is going to come along uh, before you get break starter. Defensive crasher is important for park and pro-am. Um, it's probably the most important badge um, for a big man um, because your main objective as a center or a power forward playing anywhere is going to be rebounding. Um, you got to rebound for your team. Um, if you don't, then they're going to get a lot more offensive possessions for you, or the other team's going to get a lot more offensive possessions. So, 
you know having this badge is a definitely a, definitely a good benefit towards you obviously if you don't have it you can still rebound um i think with my park center i never got this badge because i didn't play a lot of uh, a lot of my career um so it kind of it kind of is up to you if you really want to spend the time to get it but i would recommend doing it um a racer badge is a really cool badge to get um this is um it, it can be like the best badge for you um but it depends um if you're getting beat really bad and the other team's hot and you block a guy um he's gonna go to cold uh, which is a a single blue ring and um, so in, instead of hot it's basically the opposite um so if you have an 80 mid-range shot it's gonna push him down to a 75. um so it's gonna do that for several of their attributes i'm just using mid-range as an example um, so eraser is a really cool, uh, really cool badge to get. I would recommend getting it, um, but it is a little bit tough to get if you're not a center, um, seven three center. You know, maybe if you're a smaller power forward or a small forward or even a point guard or shooting guard, it's really difficult to get. I mean, it just takes some grinding. Um, but I would recommend getting this, especially if you're going to be a center or a power forward. Uh, Post lockdown defender is all dependent on your defensive attributes. Um, I would recommend maxing out your defender um, attributes uh, regardless of your position just because I think defense is the, there's just so many attributes that are key to that uh, to that um, I guess column um, that you really need to you need to max that out so that this should just come with doing that um, brick wall very important um, this is more important for pro-am than for park um, but it also is a, it's an effective way to run park as well um, it's it's a little bit like uh, I guess uh, less effective in the park just because there's not as much crowding um, but if you're an outside center get this brick wall um, because you're gonna be setting a lot of screens anyway or I would recommend setting some screens um, because really the two ways that you run outside center is you're gonna be either setting the screens up top or you're gonna be sitting on the you know in the corner um, so really I mean if you're gonna be spending so much time setting screens either in park or pro-am you really want to get this badge um, bruiser um, this badge just comes with your weight and height ratio um, but it it's all, honestly I don't even know if it affects anything because um, I've really never seen anybody get a Gatorade badge um, that I played against um, most people max out their athlete which their stamina um, is included in that um, so in, unless they haven't maxed out their athlete this bruiser badge really doesn't matter um, and also there's a mentality badge that counteracts this bruiser badge um, and most people will have that mentality badge so the bruiser badge is pretty much pointless um, and then posterizer um, I, I've had a lot of requests on a posterizer video I'm gonna post one up on on how I got posterizer um, but it's really not that important of a badge for a big man um, I've only gotten a handful of posterizers um, with my center um, in the thousands of games that I've played um, from from the difference between 2K15 and 2K16 um, with posterization is just night and day. Um, 2K15 there was just a ton of posterizations. I mean, it was probably the main thing that you saw either people making videos on or people doing in the park. Um, posterizing was the thing to do. Um, this year it's ankle breakers and they've just nerfed the crap out of posterizers. Um, so as a center, you're if you try to posterize people, you're you're probably gonna get stripped instead of posterizing them. Um, probably 99 times out of 100. Um, and then that one time that you actually go up for the dunk, you're gonna miss it because um, the missed dunks are really high this year too. <clears throat> so really, you know, I would get this passively. Um, you'll you'll get it just by dunking on people um, in your my career. Um, but don't don't really worry about it. Um, so all the all of the mentality badges they there's not really any that are are key um, I will show you this one Harden is the one that uh, counteracts the bruiser badge so if you have it then it, the bruiser badge is ineffective against you basically um, so you know I'll kind of go through some of mine um, this badge right here on the court coach um, if you are planning on maxing out either your jump shooter or your inside scorer um, and you're planning on maxing out your playmaker um, i would recommend maxing out those first 
um, whenever you make a my player just because of this badge um, and I'll tell you why whenever whenever you're running um, in your my career this badge is going to allow you to call for the ball anytime you want and even tell teammates to shoot whenever you want um, so that way you can dictate basically what you're doing and what your computer uh, teammates are doing at all times um, and this is, doesn't sound like a you know a huge deal but it, it's definitely the best badge you can get whenever you first start out um, and that's including whenever you're fouling out of games um, I would include that um, if you're gonna use the foul out strategy to get your 99 overall as quickly as possible the on the court coach helps with that as well um, then a few badges that I don't have that I didn't realize I didn't have um, the one is alley -oop finisher um, so I'm gonna throw that up on the screen alley -oop finisher is uh, you know that's just something you should get as a big man um, just so you can finish alley oops with more success um, then dimer which is a badge that I am like 10 assists away from getting so I just got to play one more game and I'll get it um, <clears throat> this will allow you to um, pass the ball out and your uh, teammate will have a higher percentage chance to make the shot um, it doesn't affect your passing accuracy um, that's kind of a common misconception um, all it does is it basically if you pass it out the guy gets a little bit of an attribute bump if he shoots off of your assist um, so like if the guy has an 83 point shot you know it might bump him up to an 82 um, so it's not huge but you know it's a, it's a difference I would recommend getting it because of all the pass outs and things like that off of rebounds um, and I probably am missing a few um, off of uh, the list of ones that I would recommend um, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll go over those in the comment, uh, comments comments um, if I notice them um, but if you guys have any questions or you want to know um, about you know certain badges I didn't cover or if you want to you know ask me a specific question on a badge um, let me know in the comments um, kind of a final thought on this is get badges that, that you're gonna use um, you know there's a lot of people that badge hunt just the badge hunt and <clears throat> you know it kind of makes sense to, to try to get as many badges as you, as you can but if you spend you know if eight hours trying to get a badge um, that you're only gonna use you know once every like 200 or 300 part games um, you know it's, it's not worth it you know don't worry about it because that badge is not really gonna make that big of a difference you know if, if you're trying to get the bank is open badge um, to shoot bank shots um, but you only shoot you know one bank shot every you know 70 games yeah, it's it's really not that big of a deal even though it's a, a fairly easy badge to get if you want it <clears throat> and uh, you know the acrobat badge is another one um, a lot of people like to get it which I've seen a lot of people use in their you know shot changes for layups and reverse layups um, so it's a useful badge but if that's something that you don't do um, then there's really no reason for you to do it for you to get it see I, I really don't use a lot of uh, you know with my point guard I don't do a lot of layups because I'm outside scoring um, so I'm really not focused on that badge um, maybe whenever I max out my inside scoring um, with that with that guy um, I right now I think I only have like four bars on his inside scoring so I'm trying to stay away from the inside <clears throat> but uh, you know anyway this is Willie Beeman and I'm out thanks